All right, y'all, so. It's crunch time. <laughs> I was really debating on documenting this process, and I still am. So I think I'm going to do it and record it for myself and then decide if I want to post it. Maybe do like a little mini vlog. So y'all remember I made a post about moving across country? Well, that's not happening. Um, it's just not. Um, I had to make the best decision for me and the kids in all aspects and um, staying for my <laughs> own sanity was what was best. So I might not be documenting a cross country experience, but I am re I am uh, basically taking my whole house, which is a four bedroom house, um, town home, uh, and me and the kids are moving into a two bedroom apartment. Um, it is the decision that I made because, I, like I said, it is what's more convenient for our situation in general. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the madness. I started selling all of my stuff yesterday, so the house looks a freaking mess. And I'm having more people come today to look at my stuff. Um, and... It was worth the investment initially because I'm technically getting my money back for probably everything I've spent. Maybe on some little bigger items, like for example, my custom couch. Um, might not get what I paid for it, obviously, but aiming pretty high. So I just want to show you guys, just to give you guys an idea. This is all stuff that I'm going to be selling. Selling this. I have some stuff like out so that people can, you know, if they see it and want it, they can buy it. Um, look at my gorgeous flowers that I got for myself. Oh my God. We were on it last night. Yes, as you can see, I just woke up. So more stuff, my TV stand sold. Um, and yeah, it's just a freaking mess, <laughs> which I hate because y'all know how anal I am. Um, boxes and shit. Um, more boxes. My room is half empty now. Hey, Mamie. Um, sold my dresser last night. Got stuff in boxes. So, yeah. I will continue to let you guys know how this should go. All right, it is day two. More and more things are selling. Like... I cannot make this up. This is what happens when you invest properly um, into furniture and you're a hustler because it doesn't matter how much I spend on furniture. I always make sure to hustle and get back exactly what I spent on the furniture. So that shit don't go to waste. With that being said, that's exactly what I do. I use the same money that I spent on my current furniture and I use it to buy completely brand new furniture so that the money that I have to cough up out of pocket is little to none. All right, y'all, quick little update. We are now about three weeks before I move into my new place. Um, the house is a absolute disaster. But I've sold most of my furniture at this point. So what I am doing is that I'm literally emptying out my whole place and have already started ordering all the stuff for my new place. Um, like I said, disaster. But look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Delivery galore. Delivery galore. Delivery galore. So basically, I'm not going to have much stuff to move except for literally a bunch of boxes and our clothes. Um, but I am feeling a lot better, doing a lot better. Um, I am so freaking excited to start this new journey with the kids at this new place. Mind you, we are literally going from a four, four bedroom and a loft place to a two bedroom spot.
And I know you guys might be thinking, oh my God, that's insane. It is, I know, but it's, it's actually something that I want to do that I'm excited about. Because I feel like we grow up with this mindset of, you know, having a big house and all the, it comes with so much fucking responsibility, you know? And as somebody who's always so freaking busy like me, I cannot freaking wait to be in a small two bedroom spot where I don't have to constantly live to clean my house. I don't have to like constantly, like there's all this extra shit that you have to like literally worry about when owning a place that people don't even talk about. And I'm so excited to have that freedom back. Like I, as ironic as it sounds, and I know a lot of people, again, I know a lot of people are going to be like, what do you mean? Owning a home, blah, blah. Yes, I, I loved the experience of owning my place. I learned so freaking much. But at the same time, it's like, there's also a lot of stuff that I'd like to revamp, reprocess, and rethink about. And I have been doing that. And there's so much more things that are way more important to me in life right now in general than just having the luxury of saying i own i own a place you know great i lived through it i did it i did it for three years i made an amazing profit and that's that i learned and now i'm starting this new fucking stage and process in my life there's going to be a lot of changes happening in the next um couple of months and i can't wait to come back and give you guys an update but also with that being said, one of the biggest things with, um, I guess, starting a new journey, you know, and like the whole house thing is that I'm actually buying everything online because another thing that I want to do is teach people how to style their home, right? Or give them literally like my exact living room. You can have in your exact living room because I'm going to literally all the products are from online and I'm going to link all of them so you guys can literally achieve the same looks and have the same products as I do. You guys know me. I'm always like simultaneously trying to think of different ways of making money. But anyways, I guess that's my update for this week. Um, yeah, and I'll be back probably a couple of weeks from now. Good morning, y'all. So this is now two weeks before my move in <laughs> um i'm gonna just show you guys the house real quick sold mostly everything got some i think i still have my my couch uh i've packed a lot of stuff and yeah officially received our um like our new apartment number and stuff like that today today yes yes i don't even know what day it is but received the information <laughs> so now i can officially start forwarding stuff and um yeah madness so this is what it's kind of looking like so far It's a little heartbreaking to be honest but um yeah what i'm doing is um everything that i've had shipped and ordered i'm piling everything here so that by the time that it's actually move out date literally like i just gotta i asked my brother to help me so we're just gonna grab everything from this part of the house which should only be boxes and two mattresses and we're out of here all right, y'all, so now it's one week, just about one week before move-out date. I'm doing a whole yard sale in my house, getting rid of as much stuff as possible. Again, the more you get rid of that, even if it's just a couple of bucks, it adds up. And it can be like dumb stuff, like literally. There's a couple of stuff that I'm only charging like a dollar for, but again, instead of trashing it, you can make money off of it. And that is how I compensate for buying all my new stuff. All right, y'all. It is officially move out date. I don't even want to show you guys what this place looks like, but I'm going to show you anyways. 
Right, Mimi? Yeah. <laughs> so far, my room. Still gotta get rid of this. And I'm gonna just do a quick little, right? I'm not looking forward to that, but here we go. All right, so stop number one, just picking up my new baby so I don't ever have to leave my house. <laughs> Setting up a whole entertainment system in my place. My brother's driving in the front. We made it. <laughs> As you can tell, I am done done. Living room is stacked. There's mess everywhere. This is my least favorite part about moving, but we are super excited to be here, to be starting fresh, be starting over. And honestly, it already feels like home. And I haven't even started putting things together, so. good this is real good all right stay tuned <laughs>